Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Debimbao and today we have a visitor. As you can see, I know you have seen him before in this channel. But today I want to ask him some questions, some life experiences. Maybe he has some advice for you guys and for even me. Yeah, so can you kindly introduce yourself? <laughs> First and foremost, I'm not a visitor. I'm, I'm always the guy behind the camera. So today I'm in front of the camera. I don't mm -hmm. know how this happened. But yes, here I am. I am Matthew by name. <laughs> yeah, I'm a kuangumu kumleta like kumleta kwa hii video. But finally he has agreed to do this video and thank you so much for agreeing. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Una simanga pasipo budi kubidi. Mhm. Okay. Yeah. yeah, what do you do? <laughs> uh if you say what do I do? Um, I think I'm I do a lot. Mhm. Mm I do quite quite a lot. Uh, first I I work with a company called this. Uh, this is my company. It's called Elitsol. Elitsol Limited. Elitsol Limited do with, deals with what? Uh, it's more of uh, an IT company. Mm -hmm. And mostly we deal with uh, web design. Uh, web, web design and, devel and development. Uh, we also do digital marketing. Apart from that, we also do consultancy work. Uh, consul consultancy services. Uh, for organizations uh, and under this uh, we deal with uh, full networking of the organizations and providing uh, any IT support which the company will need mm -hmm. uh, making sure that everything works smooth if you have systems we help you manage the systems if you on a consultancy basis mm -hmm. uh, yes that's what basically a little does okay okay uh, do you want also do you want to tell them but see you are uh, that flow <laughs> <laughs> that one, I'm not telling them you for little no I'm them. asking you because I'm coming to take in okay yes yes guys uh, I is... turned I turned 30 31 32 last month 15th mm -hmm. so yes I'm in the third floor if this I'm on the first stairs of the third floor yeah yes okay so you recently turned 35 let's say 35 <laughs> okay what do you feel 35 wine that you find as in your mm. uko third floor what mm. do you feel has changed i i think um uh from the time immediately you turn 30 things change like drastically mm -hmm. one of them is like you find like uh the level of responsibility changes mm -hmm. and that's the time whereby you realize you are being called uh, matthew we want you to do this uh so and so you are you're required to do this and that uh that one changes instantly you don't even know how it, it happens you realize now people start looking at you differently and they expect you to give answers they expect you to give guidance in different places they expect you to take uh, some leadership roles uh, which you you are not seeing there initially mm -hmm. you are there they were there but uh, from nowhere you realize that now these things are coming up on a very bigger scale mm -hmm. uh let me say so and very much important roles mm -hmm. uh, you need to do maybe let's say in the organizations you are in uh, if you are in a uh, faith-based organization like churches then also that those one starts coming up mm -hmm. uh, that's one thing which uh, came out prominently and also you start gaining weight <laughs> you just start becoming fat <laughs> And if you try to because you turned that, that's why you're, you're gaining weight. No, I'm. I'm. I'm <laughs> this is a, an observation I've done, even mm -hmm. on my other friends mm -hmm. who turned this. We turn then you realize this guy is gaining weight. What's wrong with you? Like me, like me. I think when you see at any age, you know, you add weight. Age. It's because you're getting married. Munafata watu wana kujua na pikiya. You may relax, like you're doing your work, you don't have to stress at utakula nini or siku, utava nini, you know. I think that's why, not because you're 30. I, 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 I think that's why the ladies when you're in the 30, come on, our total. See, I don't know, but I gain weight. I think, I think, uh, uh -huh. maybe another thing which can lead to that is when now you have a settled mind. Mm -hmm. It can be like, yes, you are, you are 30, if yeah. you're not, if you don't have a settled mind. Mm -hmm then to, that one that does not matter whether you're married or not mm -hmm. uh, provided you reach that age and now you have that settled mind you are not uh 
you 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 don't have a lot of stress let me put like that okay because you can be married and trust me you are in stress yeah. you will not <laughs> gain weight uh, so uh-huh. i told so uh, about this 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 now i think cut across mm-hmm. it's not only like um, that and so yeah. but if you reach that place you by uh you are you are settled mind wise and you know what you want and you uh uh you're moving towards that di- that direction and you are seeing that uh maybe there's a light mm-hmm. uh you're not uh, struggling too much then that rest gives you weight automatically mm-hmm. and that's where now you need gym like don't business yes i'm starting a, tomorrow that's what i'm I using w- <laughs> I'm using that word I'm using the Kenya Walevi term. Nitaya nitaanza kesho. Kesho. Nitaacha kesho. Nitaacha kesho means nitaanza kesho. I think that song I've been singing uh sometimes we the try longest. sometimes the, the last time I tried we were doing press up with my son in the house mm-hmm. and it was fun seeing that I'm doing in scoping he's just like 1.6 1.6 years mm-hmm. and it's it's fun he's doing whatever I, uh you you do and that also give you another perspective of life mm-hmm. yes okay speaking of a son mm-hmm. <laughs> what uh, how would you describe mm-hmm. your fatherhood journey just uh, in like two sentences not a lot you know we want to make a video about this so i just want you to like not, how 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 is that okay dog how can you ask me that and say i guzia guzia nataka uguzie yani this is the person who, the, the things that stand out this, this is the kwanza this is the person who controls your life whether you like it or <laughs> no or not how can you just touch a bit of it uh-huh. you can't he controls everything uh-huh. uh the, the funny thing is that this guy takes after you like whatever you do is the what this person wants to do yeah uh, like i have uh, when i'm working at home the, i i still have given of a given chair mm. if i dare move out of that chair and he's around the next minute he's on doing whatever i was doing yes like is that's the only place he wants to sit on <laughs> because he want to sit on then since i work at home which means i always have my laptop on so he he's up start using start start tap, tapping on the on the keyboard which means if maybe i was talking to a client and uh maybe i had let that tab on and it was already typing trust me you'll come and find that he's talking to people it's not once whereby yeah. I, i come i come back and realizing that he was he was talking to our our, our official uh whatsapp group for work mm-hmm. so i'm come i'm finding i'm finding uh characters all over and <laughs> people are like what what are you doing with the whatsapp <laughs> why are you notifying our mm-hmm. be relax guys i'm not alone someone took over you get that so yeah. that's it, a lot it, of words i told it, you it, a few sentences like two okay. sentences <laughs> that's a lot, a lot of work that's a lot of work but yeah. uh w- 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 I, i think uh, this is a life uh which i'm more grateful about mm-hmm. because it makes you think look at things differently first it makes you you realize most of the time you're told uh, god is your father and that yeah. but now when you have a son someone who looks up look up to you then your understanding of a father becomes so much different mm-hmm. get that all that other time you were like uh, even you, my, my relationship with my my, my biological dad you, mm-hmm. you realize my, not my 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 relationship with my father you realize by then you're not some sometimes you uh, the time you're not appreciating it too much or maybe you're saying he's just my father i've been yeah. seeing him mm-hmm. all that time but now when now you have someone who calls you who looks up to you then it changes the ball game completely it changes, it, it makes you think of life also differently mm. because you realize this person you're not the one protecting him from every, you can even carry him nana kupandia you like mm. and apart which means this person can fall anytime so it's up to you to look after them mm-hmm. so that gives you a different perspective of life and it makes you think radically but on a positive way making you honestly manga how do how do i put it it makes you also be want to be there for them mm-hmm. because that because this person can help you yes una ko very much active to whatever they are doing because yeah. uh, let me be sincere i do a lot of uh, i have a lot of cables where i work uh, at home all that and some of you realize that might be at the other end and he comes if he realizes that on the other end he goes to the other end at the other end kuna stima so if you are not looking umefunga mm-hmm. macho kidogo you might Chaos. yes you might be <laughs> in a big problem so yeah. immediately you know that is up 
even our work wise you have to change everything you have to be very keen you have even to barricade the place completely yeah. for him not to get there yeah. so it gives you another perspective of life which of now i'm seeing and i'm falling in love with i like it okay yes the next question is <clears throat> do you remember when you made your first million my first million ah mm. uh, i million i made in 20 what Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, I have made a million. Oh. <laughs> How old were you? I was that was in 2019. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. 2019 I was 29. Yes. That was your first million. Like ile wow. nyingi okay. The first thing you know like it's a million it is here. Don't zile zingine like per year ningekuwa na changa meter because una pata pesa hapo pale hapo pale. Yes. But now you have you are, you are seeing an a million a million, yes. a million shillings yeah. in your account and you're the one who have control over it. Yeah. Those 2019. 2019. Uh, we were, How was the feeling? Uh, you realize <laughs> it was a project which was going for almost 6M. Mhm. So the first time it was there we we didn't look at the, it's 6 million 6 million in the account. That one didn't hit us. Yeah. So when we started using it yeah, it and Ikaisha mm-hmm. and it got to hit it it hit me <laughs> because the first deposit was like uh 2.4 m in the account. Yeah. So they sent uh, the project the first installment was like 2.4. So they sent this amount to the account. So we start uh, you you your my work is through sign checks because maybe the first in, the first withdrawal was 1m. Mm. So I I I, I talked to my other partner that uh, we agree that we are going to buy the following materials. Mm-hmm. So uh go get that. So I write the check. Uh, like I'm, I have to send the check. So I'm, I'm I'm seeing I'm writing 1 million then check sign then giving the guy go withdraw. I'm like okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, the guy goes uh he he he, he withdraws he deposit like 0.5 in my account mm. my personal account because I'm, I was in a different place so I have to go buy materials yeah so I go do that uh, and then in like three, f- three four days we have to write another check almost 700 mm. so within a period of two weeks this 2.4 was over and I was like no we had <laughs> we had <laughs> two million two million mm-hmm. in the account it's only two weeks I have to know where that money went to So I was like no let's call ourselves into a meeting where did that money go to mm. get that yeah. so we we call we call ourselves into a meeting and now we are interrogating everything <laughs> we have receipts if you tell me that this money was used i say give me the receipt yeah. to prove that it where's was used why is the receipt yeah. and we tell it everything <laughs> and exactly spot on we had used to make it worse had, if if i if we did all the calculations mm-hmm. we were even over deficit mm of 200,000 mm-hmm. reason is there's a service which we which was offered during that particular time and had not been paid for mm-hmm. so i'm looking i'm really have at a deficit of 200,000 mm-hmm. and i'm like so we can use 2m over yen 2 point within 2 oh, weeks yeah. and you even don't realize so it also give you it, it also give you another 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 understanding of life mm-hmm. money you crave it when you don't still have control over it yes but immediately <laughs> you it start coming in mm-hmm. uh it's something which i, th- I always believe only that i am just a conduit for money to pass mm. it's not there to be to be held mm. you don't hold on to it uh but it's not as as possible like to me pesa kuzoe just be responsible to what comes into your hand mm. then the more responsible you become the more will come in you get mm-hmm. that yeah. uh, because even during, during that duration is i think is the same same time where by i can go to the bank and say i want a loan and they tell you how much and you say this and and they, and they tell you okay fill the fill the form mm-hmm. and you're like i just fill the form and so, so, <laughs> yes. like and then because these these are just went for an, an overdraft yeah. these people are, these people are willing to give me an overdraft of 1m mm-hmm payment period of three months and look at the interest rate is like 30k within that period you know like i'm being given a million but i'm reducting 30k this is a bank because now they are looking at your statement and such mm. and they're saying okay if that's the case then you're easy mm. yes it's it, it, it is a, it's a funny feeling mm-hmm. it's a funny feeling when it hits account when you see that <laughs> you have that uh but, but i think also i learned from a, a good friend mm. my friend james mm-hmm. My friend James uh he deals with uh he it, it is supply of 
medical products. Mm-hmm. So we worked with him for almost four or five years. We've worked with him since I was since twenty twenty thirteen. We've been in the same organization. Wow. So then, but from twenty sixteen, now we've been like working in the same same place. Like he's my boss. I'm a Pochini. So you realize in such a relationship, you also get to know the financial behavior of someone. Mm. So this guy could have one time uh, maybe he supplies product mm. to a to a to a given organization, yeah. and they pay him even for within a week. Then they pay you that, but you have another shipment, another order of the similar amount. So this person, yes, <laughs> so you realize he has four, mm. yes, he has been paid, mm-hmm. but the shipment he has is for, yeah, yeah, five M. Mm. So he tells you, I have four M. Mm. The following day, I tell you, I have nothing. I have nothing. <laughs> and you're like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> you are the local Ama, why you conned? Yes, but Matthew, I'm doing business. Mm. This is what business is. Mm. You don't hold on to money. Yeah. You let it come and it goes. As as it goes, there, there's like a small profit on it. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. so you're like me and Iote, There's yeah. like a small profit. Mm-hmm. Now that a small profit, you if you're in business, then again you reinvest it. Yes. Get that yeah. to get more. So mm-hmm. I could see that, and that gave me that. Uh, mm, how do I put it in a more? Uh, it gave me a landing like a landing place whereby mm-hmm. I could see how he handles money, mm-hmm. how he behaves when he has a lot of money, when when he doesn't have, mm-hmm. and. It may made me understand that money is, should not change who you are. Yeah. How much you have should not change who you are. You should remain so much simple because this guy, if you could have four m, he could have five m in the account. But when we go out, he tells you, "Mati si nyo na lipa leo." Saizo, you you have like ten ten k, and you know he has four he, million. Yes. So <laughs> you should buy Buddha or do lipa. But it's like no, Matthew. It was your day to pay, so pay. The following yeah. day, mm. now I have, I have like ten. He has, I know, it, like he have like five, mm. and it's his days to pay. He's mm. not complaining. It is the he's paying. Look yeah. at that. Yeah. So ha- seeing that also interacting with money, also seeing how he does his project, mm. made me realize, ma- made me learn through that too. Okay. Yes. The next question is, mm. how would you describe your twenties? Uh, 20s. Yeah. How would I describe my 20s? My early 20s, I was in campus. Mm-hmm. Uh, the early 20s, I was in campus. Yeah. Uh, that's you want to be specific. The <laughs> University <laughs> of Nairobi. Okay. You hear the prefix, the has to be there. Okay, okay. The University of Nairobi. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, I can say yeah that that was a period we we passed. Mm-hmm. Uh, I learned a lot. Yeah. You get that because now you realize that the first time now whereby you're not in the care of your parents, but now <laughs> you go be your own person. It also uh, now determine which kind of friends you have, which kind of people you have close to you. So mine took place that during that particular time and I think uh, mm. from there I've made long lasting friends. Like for like for example as at now I work with like two of them. Mm. Two or three. I work with three of them mm-hmm. whom I met during my campus time. Mm. And like some one of them I've been work I've been working with for now over two almost two years. Mm. But we've met once. But we work on a daily basis. Like on a daily basis we make money, we change this world. But I met the guy. I met the guy once in that period of mm. the time we started now working on, on, on a serious basis. Mm-hmm. That those are the time we were just like, um, what do I call it? We were just like uh, I was now getting his services. Mm. He gave me a service. Uh, then I continue doing my my, my work. He's doing his, his part, but he's, he's offering a service. But now he, he says now he could handle everything. Then I come in to work. So during that time. Mm. That the trust which we developed in campus mm-hmm. now have, have, have enabled us work all, all, all through during the corona time, all that. You get that? Because mm. of the relationship I made there at that time. And even the first project whereby you hear that I, I we made over one, of one name mm. was as a result of a relationship where we started in campus. You mm-hmm. get that? Yeah. Because my other partner in the business is a guy who was with the same, same class in campus. Mm-hmm. So you realize. Uh, I think the early <coughs> twenties, uh, that time mm-hmm. is now you make long lasting friendship. Friendship. There mm-hmm. are some friendship you make during that particular time, 
they can either make you or break you. Mm-hmm. So you have to be very, very keen which kind of friendship you make during that period of time. If they last long, then you are going to be lucky because there are people who knows you when you had nothing. You are like, when they talk a class, and they know you in and out because if you are a clubbing person, this this person knows that you're a clubbing person. Mm. If you are a person who is close to God, this person knows you are close to God. If yes. you are a humanizer, this person knows that you are a humanizer. Mm. Get that? Mm. If you are of a good behavior guy, this guy knows. Get that? Mm. Yeah. So if they choose to be with you all that time, then they know who you really are. Get that? Mm-hmm. So during that problem time, is I think it's best time try to make friends which are long lasting. Don't just uh, don't just uh, go out there. Uh, you, the work is parting coming back home, partying and that, no. Try and make some long-lasting relationship. Mm. Uh, try networking, you get that? Mm-hmm. And try to show that you are you can be, you can be a person who can be actually trusted, you get that? Mm-hmm. Because anything you make at your early 20s, uh, your, your, your 20s, mm. I believe it lasts because like for example, my company, I, f- I opened when I was in my 20s, you get mm-hmm. that? Uh, by then I was always, I was just saying it's an IT, IT company. Uh, mostly I used to do that analysis for people, you give, you give me your data, then I analyze, I give you back, you pay. That was Question. Hakuna mm. kazi yenye, nakuna zile kazi zenye you tried, mm. <coughs> alafu zika fail. Kazi nye? In your 20s. In my 20s. Mm. Uh, you didn't try a lot of things. You know, Joe, what you want to say, in your 20s, mm. experiment, do whatever you feel like, as in, try those jobs mingi, try those um, desires that you have. Mtukaizo. Uh, I think it's nice to try whatever you you like mm-hmm. in your twenties, mm-hmm. but also for me, I don't, I can't say that I tried a lot of things. Mm-hmm. Get that? Because I was in campus, I was doing urban planning, uh, which I qualified. Um, I passed. Mm-hmm. I have, I have, I got second second class upper mm-hmm. from you in uh, doing urban planning, mm-hmm. but it's not, it's not something I was passionate about. Mm-hmm. You get that? Yeah. So it's not something I've pursued that much. Mm-hmm. You get that? Mm. I was more passionate concerning IT. Uh, when I get from to third third year, mm. my focus shifted to IT because even the responsibility and the internship, the place I was, mm. you realize I could help so much in IT than mm-hmm. in planning. So my shift uh, moved towards IT so much. So I was in campus, yes, doing the course I'm supposed to do, to do but on when I'm not in class, mm. Everything of mine was just gobbling information on IT, IT, knowing how to code, knowing how to troubleshoot systems, you get that. That's the thing I was doing on my own, mm. you get that. So immediately I got out of campus. The first thing, the first job I got, I was doing that analysis for a company called Fear East Africa. Mm. Uh, they were having a project in, in uh, with Camry. Uh, the other one was, uh, the first one was with Camry and another company in, in Uganda, they were doing, they were dealing with uh, malaria diagnosis. Mm-hmm. So you realize the system they were using, uh, there were some errors coming in. So they needed someone mm. who can go to the system, get the errors, analyze them in a way whereby they can be presented mm. in a presentable way and also provide solutions. Mm-hmm. What should be done to fix the system and such. So that's the first job I got. Mm. So getting that, mm. I, it also opened my eyes because after that I got another one in we, the same company and the job in Eldoret where by now we are using we, we are we are working with CHVs uh, and still now malaria uh, ma- ma- malaria di- di- diagnosis still mm-hmm. yeah. so you now train people then after that uh, you now start come back start doing and get that that analysis mm-hmm. uh, ma- monitoring the system if it's working well making sure everything every devices you've given the the workers are working you get that mm-hmm. so that's the first thing that's the the first job i got but i'm always working that and also working on my own uh, on my own job a uh, little still because i think after immediately we cleared campus mm-hmm. that's the first time i got my first client for web design mm-hmm. that web design uh the the owner uh went abroad just I think the last two years so the website went down because he could not pay when when they they abroad. But that was the first one, uh with my friend Marvin. Mm. And it was like this is not something I've studied, but mm-hmm. something I'm passionate about and I know how to do. You get that? Yeah. So get someone once he was she was doing an e an e commerce system and I went ahead and we developed the e commerce system from scratch. You get mm-hmm. that? Okay. And we published and <coughs> it, it was it was it was it was nice. So the first thing it was like my first job, let me say after campus, Ilaini ni mitafuta mwenyewe, and we charged the lady 8K. Wow. And she agreed to pay. Our first client. 
<laughs> ah. First client. Mm-hmm. You get that? It was 80k and he paid that money and we made the we made the website. That's why I'm uh it's just luck. It's not luck either. Mm-hmm. It's what not luck. It? Mm-hmm. it is God. Yeah, God. Yes, it's not I don't I don't I don't I consider it luck. Answer to that. I don't know why I even <laughs> asked. I knew you were going to say God. I d I don't take it like uh I was lucky you realize when you talk of luck is my, my my thinking is mm-hmm. uh, if I'm saying um, if I'm saying that it was luck then mm-hmm. uh I don't acknowledge God in that place. It's like luck can be either side. Maybe they wanna jaribu kutumia kukuleta kitu aone vile behave. So you are lucky they were later but this mine was God brought this like on a, on a silver platter. Mm-hmm. You get that? Mm-hmm. Because the lady was looking for someone mm-hmm. who can develop a website. My friend said he should know someone who knows how to make a website. Furthermore, I had not made any website before that. Mm. The thing I was making was just my profile list with Kaizo. Then I told my friend, I'm good in web design. If you have, if you get someone bring them over. You know somebody, you know somebody. Yes. That's what reminded <laughs> me of that. Yes, yeah, so my I got a trend. Yeah, so, so so my friend was like, "Ah, oh, Matthew, there's a lady here who wants some, who wants a website made." And I said, "Okay, I know how to make a website. What does she want? She wants an e-commerce." So we went to a meeting in. It was in Karen. Mm-hmm. Get that a certain can nice couple is called Daniel Karen. <laughs> Since I heard that is yeah. so, we went had 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 a meeting and it was successful. Uh, like three three days later, mm. the, the lady calls back. She, she's like, uh, I talked to my other partners. We agreed. Uh, what's the quote? The quotation. Mm. I sent the quotation. I said for down payment we need forty k. Yeah. And like I'm sending that thing in the morning. Then in the afternoon, catching catching. You have forty k <laughs> in your pesa. Let me be sincere. That was the first, the first highest amount I got once. You get that? Mm. You know, and you you're getting that, and you're seeing your production cost. Like, uh, in that case, I had to buy only host domain name and hosting. The other amount was now to my money. Mm. My money in that they will only cost me time mm-hmm. of yeah. designing the site. Mm. You get that? Mm. But <clears throat> it's not that I'm going to spend it to buy anything because now. The, the, now that's again the good thing about IT is what you have in your mind. Mm. You can be given a system, you charge let's say eight k, a million shillings. Uh, that that if you are developing a system, then you realize maybe this money will go to buying maybe let's say some resources. You get that, but it won't be a lot of resources. But it'll be now the the human resource part of it. You get that? Yeah. How much money are you going to put on the human resource part? Mm. You get that. That's why you want to scare Zuckerberg can make something. And he get a, he become a millionaire, uh, the the world richest person at the age of thirty two. Reason being, he has made a system. So you guys just plug on the system. He's not changing anything. You mm. go give him money mm. for the system which is already running. You get that? Yeah. So that's uh, how how it is. Now he's using your brain. Okay. Yeah. Do you remember at twenty five we go up? Twenty five years. Twenty five. Yes. Mm, where was I? Twenty five was uh, I was twenty five and twenty. That was twenty sixteen. I'm twenty seventeen. <laughs> and you leave that. I'm trying to think. We are in in twenty twenty one. And you're thirty two. Mm-hmm. So fifteen. That was twenty five. I was seven years ago. Seven years ago, putting in that. Seven years ago is twenty fourteen. Ah, I was clearing campus. Clearing. Yes, I was my final year. Okay. Campus. What advice would you give hmm? yourself, your twenty-five-year-old self? Mm. My twenty-five-year-old self. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't be in a hurry to be in a relationship. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm not giving more details. <laughs> Why? No, you can't just say like that. Let's do an advice. No, because they elaborate. Because that's the time you're realizing who you are. Mm-hmm. You get that? And it, if um, this is specific to the guys, mm-hmm. not to the ladies. <laughs> this is specific okay. to the guys. Mm-hmm. You get that? Yeah. At twenty-five, it's when you don't made anything. Yeah. You get that? Mm-hmm. You say that maybe you are now beginning your career or you are being finishing, uh, campus. You get that? Mm-hmm. So it's 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 like you're now. Uh, on the human, 
human wa, wa, the, 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 they call it what human need hierarchy the, the that's now when you start now actually self yes unaanza kujua huyo other than requiring food housing and shelter mm. it's now <coughs> when your self actualization start coming in whereby you start getting who do you really, who, you, who are you really and what do you really want to become mm you you don't know what you want to become when you're in campus no, mm. no one will tell you what you want to become mm. Meanwhile, you hit the market mm. you now uh, well, you hit market now you start looking for work now you realize now that that changes your character you get that this is the time you realize no one you don't depend on yourself you get that uh, your parents pays everything uh, someone is responsible over you mm. before you clear if before, you're lucky enough if you're lucky enough someone mm. is taking care of you mm. but you'll only realize who you want to be where you want to go where now you're depending on yourself get that mm-hmm. because now you'll realize uh, you have maybe bills to pay a rent let's say maybe uh, you need your medical health to be to be there uh, maybe your food you are the one depending on it get that maybe and your now, family members your family Immediately you do that, your family <laughs> siblings will start. If you are a real African, they will start getting mostly, mostly clear clear campus. Uh, you're a guy, and you are you graduated. They it it comes like a normal you know graduate. Mm. They know you're now getting. We graduate empl- to capewa pesa. Is <laughs> there a certificate? Yes. <laughs> The, I, I don't know but now from there now you realize the responsibility also now to provide to the uh, general the general family now mm. also increases yes. because now they are looking at you like we've taken mm. you to school now yeah. pay back yeah. you get that mm. so that is was now yes that has re- responsibility will also come in you can't do that when you have your you, you are also thinking of getting into a relation there and then you get that mm. it becomes tricky mm. it becomes a bit tricky so you also have to be very very keen when you at that part time mm-hmm. i think it's it's best when now you've known who you are mm-hmm. you've get you got out in the business into the market let's mm-hmm. say start one work one work here there do your own business here and there no you you can't sustain yourself you get that mm-hmm. don't have someone's daughter on a serious relationship which is linked to burden and you can't support yourself mm-hmm. you get that mm-hmm. if you can't support yourself you can't support someone's daughter because mm-hmm. the lady will come as much as some you'll get someone who is working but uh generally you'll be expected to provide <coughs> get that if you can't provide then there's no need of you as someone mm. getting someone get oh, that okay uh, that's my belief i don't know how other people take it <coughs> but that's how i believe if you can't provide for the lady mm. don't <laughs> don't 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 rush. what if what if the lady ndo ana provide ya mm biologically mm. and the way god created the man mm. the man is the provider even the in in in, in the book in, in the book of genesis when mm. man was being cast he was supposed to go and toil and provide mm-hmm. so when you want to change god's uh, agenda or god's way of plan then there's something i think i believe there's something wrong get okay, that mm-hmm. if god made you to be the provider mm. not to be the provided for you okay, get that mm-hmm. how 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 are you Mm-hmm. If, but from from what i've seen mm-hmm. uh, from how i've seen people talk mm-hmm. from how i've seen uh, from how i've seen even relationship whereby the lady provides mm-hmm. you realize the man doesn't have a voice one then uh, the man become like a kid you get that uh lady says that men are just grown up kids Sometimes it's true because you realize if someone starts providing for you you start seeing them as your mom so you become entitled to what they give you to realize that you don't have that drive to provide for yourself get that mm-hmm. but when you reach 20s and above and such you need to be in a position to provide for yourself get that mm-hmm. but if if you your mom your family was providing for you you reach this this age again another lady is providing for you if and this lady when it's providing for you, you do you know where they're getting the money from no no they, they're working they're working yes. yes but remember if they're providing maybe, for you, they, maybe i'm working and you're not yes so I, i'm going to provide for you in that case pray very hard mm. very hard mm-hmm. that your lady love you for real mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I'm being sincere. Why? Pray that Why? they love you for real. Why? Because the genetic of a lady also is mm. they need you to show that you care. And mm. how do you show that you care about them? By providing. By, by providing, by giving them, maybe buying them present. Mm. You get that Sinta they feel nice. But you will not appreciate it as much <laughs> I as I will. As long as sita kwambia shika hii pesa endo ni buy perfume. Mhm. Ni wewe ndo utachukua, nikikupatia unaenda unafikiria kitu tutaniletea. It's the thought. It's the thought which is nice. <laughs> yeah. uh, I like that. I I think also uh, currently we we had about uh Omanyala who praised his his lady for being with him when mm. he didn't have anything mm. those are very rare cases because even as at now we also have a lady who has taken the boyfriend to court reason is the boyfriend was not given pocket money so the boyfriend ended up selling pocket money. for this particular duration the, the the girlfriend did not provide uh, for the boyfriend yes he didn't give the boyfriend pocket money mm. what did the boy, the, boy, the boyfriend do mm-hmm. i lose a prado ya dem the is currently in on in, in, in court you get that now see see you see the face you're making you see that so it makes sense yes we now be, we become entitled to your property you get that so that if you don't a, provide mm-hmm. we feel like it's ours but we it should, can, we can work do the other way around too yes it can work the other way around mm-hmm. but it's it's really for a lady to take your property and go and sell if you mm-hmm. don't provide even if they're taking your property mm-hmm. they will not go to an extent of taking a prado to sell you get that at least at least mm. in because akona asira sio because at yako entitled no hiyo ni asira akona yo you get that mm. anasema you have but you don't giving me ne- so no one is benefiting from it that's mm. why ana mm. anaribu you get that but huyu anauza ye, sili yeye it's mine i need to benefit you get that mm. it's me me i me i me i okay. the lady will destroy you know that If I can't have no one serving. Eh. All of us are losing. Get that? Mm. But we anauza ili a benefit ye mwenyewe. Then mm. because if I sell your product or your property, you don't benefit from it. I'm yeah. the one benefiting. Mm. Get that? You are losing completely. Because your person meant kwa kwa nani? Mimi. Mm. So which who have lost? You. Mm. So uh, j- just for guys, don't try to be the provider. Try to go outside there do something. You mm. get that? Mm. I know sometimes you will be in a position where by you maybe you are, you are not able to provide and such mm. but always have a plan always put yourself in a position where by if an opportunity comes you mm. can take it get that mm. the only bad thing with the kuweko ni ile design if that opportunity comes you won't even know how to react to it mm. you don't even see it you don't yeah. even look for it mm. you get that yeah. so the best alternative is be your, be active be proactive you get that yeah. look for opportunities and the more proactive you lo- you are opportunities will start coming on their on their own You get that you don't even have to look for some you just be called uh so and so we know you're good as such i think can you come help you get that mm-hmm. and you realize life will just continue doing go, going on okay yes kumbe ulikuwa na story hivi mathi na bloku ataka kufanya hii video that's a lie <laughs> what is a lie that's ikwanda kufanya hii video okay sawa basi huko nataka kufanya hii interview basi ah yeah Pro- next point <laughs> Hey, my last question because umeongea sana zingine naona zitaweza not unless we do another like part two mm-hmm. later mm-hmm. yeah my last question for now is <coughs> <coughs> okay given a chance mm-hmm. what would you do differently in your life given a chance given a chance what would i do differently mm-hmm. nothing uh uh-uh. nothing Mm-mm. my reasoning is this mm-hmm. Uh, the things I did made me learn mm-hmm. a lesson one or two. You get that? Mm-hmm. If I couldn't have done them, then I couldn't have learned from them. Mm-hmm. You get that? Mm-hmm. So since I've learned from them, I am a better person. I am I'm a, I am who I am because of the things the the mistakes I've done. Lakini kuna ile mtu ana feeling I should not have done that. Like yani you you already uh, learned regret. Eh uh, kitu li learn. Yes you had learned. Mm-hmm. Lakini tena unaifanya tena. No, I've, I've not, Now I've, I'm giving you cha- that chance uh, <laughs> to redeem yourself. No, I What don't I, that? I don't I don't think there's something I'll do different for sure. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure sure sure? I don't think there's something I'll do different because uh-huh. I I believe everything is a learning process for me. You get that? Mm-hmm. And if it's a learning process mm-hmm. then mm-hmm. it's teaching me something new or making me have an experience which I didn't have initially. Mm-hmm. So, um uh, due to that due to that 
nini that lesson i'm saying okay i learned that now mm. moving on i can't do that same same thing that stupid thing i did you get mm, that yeah if it's a, it was a stupid decision which i've done many you get that mm. so it's a learning process you get that i don't regret them but some i regret yes not i don't regret them some i regret why I did i do that but it's a learning process for me so since i did it i've learned that if you do this this um, some of instant consequences consequences some mm. yeah you <laughs> know <laughs> you feel yes is ngine isha fanyi isha fanyi ka that's that you get that but is ngine ivi is ngine ivi instant you get that so it 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 it, it makes you have a uh, caution it cre- it makes you have boundaries of how far you can go with some things mm. you get that due, due, due to the decisions you made you get that yeah. i don't regret them i don't how do I put it i don't wish that i, could, I shouldn't have done them mm. but i say that uh, they have made me who i am the decisions i've made mm. so i'm not saying that i should have uh, this ill specific you know like i should have done you get okay. that if they become a learning processes for me okay any last words maybe kuna kitu na skies jaguzia maybe you would want to you know talk about it uh this is your chance one thing <laughs> mm. I like being a risk taker. Mm-hmm. So it's something I can advise anyone who's listening. Mm. Try to be a risk taker. I want to give you an example of this. Uh, in 2019 before corona. Mm. You year to before corona. Mm-hmm. I invested in something where you realize I did it the first time and can make nice money. I was doing a bit of farming. Mm. And I made nice money in it. Get that? Mm-hmm. But that was like in 1.5 acres. Yeah. So seeing that I did nice this time round I said I'm going to do five acres which I did. <laughs> get that? Uh-huh. I did five acres. You know what happened? Guys. <laughs> okay, me na jua. Guys, you know what happened? <laughs> I, lo- I I I I invested of between uh 150 to to 200k. Mm. On that on that duration. And that money all went. Get that? It like ile fanyika tuvuni kali kali kama ile lambo. Kaenda. I go home. Kai lenda na maji yani. Yes. Go on. I can't I couldn't blame the person who was uh, yeah. managing the yeah. farm yeah. because during the time when now it came to harvesting I also went home mm. to check mm. because I knew everything how it is. So I went home to check before everything was cleared from the farm. And I realized that the mistake was not on either of our side. Mm. The, the the force of nature came in and it messed up it messed at up the last two weeks to harvesting hmm. with that everything was nice up the last two weeks of harvesting uh, how did you how did you how did you survive like knowing umepata za hiyo pesa yote the first time i saw it you there's a kapang which comes to your head <laughs> to your heart it goes to your head you feel like you you can't <laughs> believe uh, you get that i yeah. went home and i look at the farm mm. you realize it it is like you you stand here and you, it's like three football pitches you are looking down and you just seeing lumps of watermelon square farm get that you are seeing to make jaza farm you like a loss yani loss to no you you, 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 know, you see them you, the first thing you see them yeah. you're like ah these people are telling me that they can't sell but <laughs> i have products here they yeah. are so nice mm. like ili it was super heavy it was a bumper nini a bumper yield get that mm. But now the last two, two weeks to harvesting the rain, the rain came and since our place is a hot area we didn't realize that it came with a lot of pests get that mm. so you couldn't see pest on mm. the farm on, on cold on cold areas it's easy to detect pest mm. because you'll see them hovering around and such mm. in hot areas in the morning before you come to the farm they are there you know it's get hot you don't see anything yeah, but, yeah. so you don't realize the place ikona pest mingi mm. get that yeah. so we didn't we didn't we didn't uh we didn't spray any, any pesticide to keep to, to to control but this pest did the harm they came in and it got obo so you are seeing a melon which can be 14 kgs but it atobolewa you don't even see the pod you don't see ukiangalia you don't see ati metoboka try lifting it up ipige testing uske the sound una scan kama drum kudu kudu which means it's hollow inside aina kitu aina kitu iko iko liquid so since it's it's, it's more liquid mm. now iko na iko na space so let's get super drum mm. okay pigevo get that 
But so now you are looking at a farm and that's the state of everything. Ikona melon. Biggie biggie. Hmm. But you can't sell. Get that? that one. You can't sell. Mm-hmm. Get that? Mm-hmm. So you, you you go to the perform manager and you're like, what happened? And you also see, then you, you see now what really caused this and you realize we didn't spray the last two weeks. Although those are the time we were we were timely, everything, but now you realize the rain just came from nowhere. We knew we had passed it. Get that? Then mm-hmm. rain came. So you like what you come. Yeah. It can destroy everything. But I think that is not stopping. No, me. What bad risk takers. Yes, I'm telling you to be risk taker because that happened. You get that? Mm. Uh, then the ne- the following year, that is 2020, I had still did agriculture still. Now this time I did maize and I did maize and tomatoes. The first time I did maize, mine was for hay. You get mm. that? Mm. I spent like I think 26k. Mm-hmm. For for two acres for three acres of, for two acres of land, mm. <coughs> it was two point five, but I sold them as here at eighty four thousand. Mm-hmm. So which means my profit was, if you do the, 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 the it was like two, almost twenty percent profit. Mm. Get that? Mm. The twenty six, but to, because total I I used what I used twenty six k, that is from everything I used twenty six k. My calculation was twenty six k, uh, but now harvesting. Uh, the hay people came. I get. I charged eighty four thousand for that farm, and they gave that eighty four. So if mm. I remove my twenty six, you see that mm. I remain in something to do with fifty eight. Mm. Fifty eight. Fifty eight. Six. Yes, fifty eight k. Mm. Get that. Mm. So from twenty six, you get fifty eight clean money. You get that. Okay. I did. Then after that, I did tomatoes. Which I think I spent twenty k mm. for everything. Mm-hmm. Profit was I think almost similar amount. You get that? Mm. So that that also showed me that okay, one time you can go down, which is expected, mm. but that should not define that if you failed you cannot rise up. Mm. You get that? Mm. Fail, learn what did you do wrong. So next time if you realize something like that can happen again, mm. you know how to mitigate. Mm. That's what I'm saying. Take the risk. Don't just sit there and. Say that that has happened. I can't do that anymore. Mm. No, do it. Bitcoin. Now you who Elon Musk and Fanya Mambos. I had always invested almost a hundred k there too. Mm. Then this person just decided that no one is using Bitcoin. It cannot change me. It, like it went up to half of my my money there. Mm. From nowhere, it's you had if invested over hundred, then you mean the fifty. Mm. So you're like, do I remove this fifty or I just still continue waiting? Mm. You get that? Yeah. I left it. Now it's back to normal. Mm. You get that? Mm. So that's why I'm just saying, take risk. Don't just sit down there and say, since this did not work out, I can't do any other thing. You get that? Mm. The more risk you take, the more better opportunity comes. You get that? Mm. Because uh, in the same process, you realize, you realize you love friends, you love people who even don't know you, telling you, you just, an opportunity just land on your table. You get that? Mm. But if you're not taking risk, they will not come. Because you're not going to take that opportunity. And my, 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 my quote, I always like, I think it's Richard, what, Richard, Br- Richard Branson, the, the founder of Bon Voyage, mm-hmm. Virgin, Virgin Airlines, not mm-hmm. bon, bon Voyage, Virgin Airlines. Mm-hmm. Uh, he has a quote, he said that, if given an opportunity to say yes and learn in the process, mm. which means you don't have to, if you've been told, to sell a, an aeroplane. If you, you don't need to even see where that, that aeroplane is. Mm. Say yes. Find the market will we will learn how to get the market later. But you say yes. If you don't know how to do it, say yes, get someone out to know how to do it. That's why I'm gonna say if given an opportunity to say yes, learn learn in the process. Mm. Get that. And that's what I've been doing. Hey. I can't do anything. Okay. Except something which I can't do. <laughs> which is that thing which I can't do. Which is? The thing I can't do. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, we let you know, we look on a story. Mingi. We had a lot to talk about, and I knew that. That's why I didn't go to push, push, kid, dog, dog, left in a chair, and I knew finally you are going to do, I knew finally you are going to do this video, and I knew you have a lot of wisdom to share. Yeah, so, so thank you so much for so doing I could have, this. I could have wisdom to share. 
Okay, if you say so, let us be the judge. Okay, I'll go to the scene. Sawa, sawa, basi. I'll see you guys on our next video. And maybe I might be a frequent visitor. Who knows? Only Sajia. Aye, aye.